Uh-oh. <laughs> no! What is up, people of YouTube? It is so nice to have you guys here. My name is Gordon McCarty, and uh, in today's video, we're doing our monthly astrophotography trip. Yes, I mean we. Uh, we're going to have... Paul, right here. There you go. I'm sure he was doing shenanigans in the background. Get in here, Paul. Come here. Come on. Get in here. You're at 16. They can yeah. see me. You guys can see I want, me. I want you nice and in focus. I want you nice and in the frame. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So we're filling up the tank, and uh, we're going to cruise over to Joshua Tree and figure out what we're going to talk about. Actually, now that we're in Joshua Tree, I know what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about light pollution filters because it's an astro trip, and me and Paul are trying them for the first time. Oh, my gosh. This wind just picks up. Right, every dang time. Okay, and stop, and stop, and stop, and okay. <laughs> it's windy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Joshua Tree. <laughs> I'm screwed. Now, we actually changed spots. It was really windy earlier, as you guys saw, but we're talking light pollution filters. Light pollution filters essentially will block out city lights. Um, I think it's like magnesium lights or sodium lights. I can't. I will look it up. Uh, is it sulfur? What kind of, what do we use in our street lamps? Do you know? In the incandescent bulbs? Yeah. Is it sulfur? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. We don't know. We're not scientists, okay? We're photographers and vloggers and tutorial whatevers, but it blocks out those lights so you don't get that weird glow from the city and we're hoping to block that out. We originally went to Barker Dam. That's where we were vlogging to you guys right before, but super touristy not really appealing just lame so we went off-road and we found this and we found our little uh, camping spot here and it's exciting Paul's over here and uh, say hi Paul hi Paul <sighs> okay uh, we're gonna set up our tent I guess I'll vlog to you guys from there or we'll shoot a b-roll sequence. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to film, guys. Why are you guys even listening to me? Don't don't forget to hit subscribe and smash like. These are city light pollution filters uh, by Ice Lipo. You can find them on Amazon, like ranging from $35 to $45, which is cheaper than the Hoya Intensifier, which they recommend for astrophotography. What it essentially does is it eliminates the certain wavelengths of light that you see in cities. So we have Palm Springs, we have 29 Palms, we have Yucca Valley, we have these cities that surround Joshua tree and in the horizon you get this orange glow in the air from the cities this will hopefully eliminate them so we're gonna test out these and see if they mess up our daytime shots because we're doing some holy grail stuff and then we're gonna see before and after images at some point this evening and uh, go from there and I can tell you if these are worth getting I just woke up, so I'm gonna get ready, have breakfast, and we're going to hit the day running. Kind of, sorta, of. crawling, crawling. Well, we were packing up the car and realized the battery died at some point, and uh, 
Yeah, so we have about a 15 mile hike ahead of us, so this isn't really gonna be much of a vlog, I guess. I don't know. Me and Paul filled up our water jug. We're gonna be traveling light, gonna leave this in the car, praying our car doesn't get broken into and make our day worse. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can update you guys. Hopefully I don't die. If you guys find this and I'm dead, tell my mom I love her. And uh, if Paul somehow survives, he doesn't get my camera gear because he probably killed me. Good thing uh, we found out the car was dead early in the morning because it is starting to heat up and uh, I'm not gonna be wanting to be on this. I don't know if Paul's gonna wanna be on this for much longer. I got a gallon of water, two cliff bars, and uh, hopefully we don't die. Well, you guys already know if I managed to upload this video that I didn't die, thanks for your concern. Okay, sorry. So me and Paul are finally close. Well, Paul's at the main road, but we see a Subaru pull into this off-road, and uh, Paul goes, hey, do you have a, and they go, nope, and they just drive by. They finally get to me, I'm standing in the middle of the road, and they fucking speed by and go around me, not even stopping to see if I'm okay. Seriously? Walkies are amazing. People just think that we're just trying to wave at people. What? We made it. After all that BS, a uh, park ranger finally got us. Now the first thing that I did when I got home was return those light pollution filters. Garbage did not do a thing. It is not the secret to getting better astro photos. The secret is to go to a dark sky and to deal with the light pollution in post because I lost image quality. I lost a lot of stars. It was really hard to correct the colors from that. So I can definitely say I will not be using light pollution filters. Now, if you guys are doing like deep space stuff, they're essential, they're more expensive, they're like 200 bucks, but they're not going to make your astrophotography any better. Still, those time lapses came out great. During the day, it didn't affect the image quality as much, but I did lose sharpness, I did lose detail. I can show you guys the colors I was able to get and the detail I was able to get, even on a micro four third sensor versus my full frame sensors with the clear light pollution filter. Most of the Milky Way is a bit hazy. That's as much detail as I could recover in those time lapses. Overall, this was a fun journey, fun experiment. I know I didn't go super in depth on the light pollution filters. However, I don't feel that this title was too clickbaity, even though you guys might feel that way. My channel is more about vlogs, about bringing you along on these journeys, travels, adventures. And when I do an in-depth review, I will say in-depth review. I was just kind of bringing this up. So if you guys hate me for it, I'm sorry. If you guys want to give me a chance and you want to check out some of my other content, you can. And you consider hitting that subscribe button and a thumbs up on this video would go a long ways. With my astrophotography, it's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm always looking for like little tips, tricks, cheats kind of like to make mine stand out because they're a lot of fun to get. If you guys truly are passionate about astrophotography and as passionate as I am, you may consider getting a dedicated, bleh, whoa, what the heck? You may consider getting a dedicated astrophotography body. The sensors on these cameras that have been modified are essentially no longer blocking out infrared and it'll let you get some cooler shots that you wouldn't be able to get unless it was tracked. On my next Astro Journey and for my next video, I've actually decided that I'm going to do a tutorial and to really work on getting a solid composite of just the galactic core. That will be on the tutorial side of this channel. Small update for people who have been subscribed and been supporting me. I appreciate you guys. I have not forgotten about this. I am actually working on some work-life balance and getting my life back in order. After a very toxic, unhealthy relationship, I have had a lot of growth, but I'm also finding that I can't just pour my heart and soul into YouTube and into videography. I am pouring my heart and soul, but that can't be the one thing I take care of. I need to take care of my body. I need to take care of relationships with peers, and that will lead me to being an overall better human being. And I have to thank my beautiful girlfriend, Chelsea, who's sitting over there. And here, I'll show a picture of us. Oh, aren't we cute? We're so cute, right? Like, so kawaii, you know? 
What? What? She's been awesome supporting this. We're currently training together, actually, and it feels like that is taking up all our time, meal prepping, exercising. We're getting the groove of it. It just means I have to plan my days out a lot more. I look forward to bringing you guys a lot more content. Thank you guys for supporting me as much as you have. We are so close to a thousand subscribers and I've been asked if I'm gonna do some kind of giveaway or some kind of prize or something like that for a thousand. I might do a little thing. That's not one of my biggest milestones. When I actually plan on doing like a milestone celebration, maybe giveaway would probably be around 10,000 subscribers. My goal right now is just to get this channel monetizable. I really think I'm starting to nail down the content. It's gonna get a little more consistent with tutorials and these vlog style videos. I am gonna get more consistent with posting at least once a week. I'm keeping that trend right now. I'm also working with other artists and so forth and trying to work on some collaborations for you guys. I appreciate your patience through all of this. I appreciate your support. Like, whew, if you guys have watched it this far, man, you're really supporting me. Have I made it over 10 minutes now? Because apparently YouTube likes 10 minutes. I'm happy and I'm optimistic for the future. I have struggled with depression. I've made videos on that. It's all stressful, all chaotic, but it's, it's coming together. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for listening to my rant at the end. Sorry if you guys watch this for more on that clear night sky light pollution filter. Um, just garbage. You can look at the Hoya intensifier. It'll help your image. But once again, what's really going to help your astrophotography is a really nice lens, learning how to color grade in Lightroom or Photoshop, and really learning how to work with those shots. Till the next video, I'll see you guys around.